Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Journey. You saw the thumbnail. Let's go ahead and feed the animals real quick so we can get down to business and see what's going on with this chicken coop. So this part right here is kind of strange because normally whenever I come up here to where the pigs are at, they just immediately just go nuts and screaming and making all kinds of noise. So I didn't know what to think. I know it got really cold, so, and it's supposed to get even colder. So I was just trying my best to make sure that they got everything they needed to be able to stay warm. This is really, really starting to worry me though, because I go in here and I've pushed my way all the way into here and I don't even see the pigs at all. Don't hear them, don't, don't know what's going on. I could look through and I could see them, but I couldn't tell if they were breathing. I said to wait and see. Hopefully they come out to eat. Anyway, let's go ahead and feed them. Feed the other ones real quick. I got this thing muted because they're screaming like crazy. Um, but once we get them fed, we'll, we'll go check out the chickens. Look at that thing it's sagging like crazy hopefully well the good thing is it's still standing if not I'd have a whole bunch of flat chickens yeah. just clear the snow out of the way real quick so we can get inside and check out the damage Here we go, moment of truth. Let's see what we got. What the heck? I gotta get something. Can't even get that thing undone. Don't have a Leatherman or knife or anything like that on me, so let's just improvise. We'll use the shovel. All right, now here we go. Holy cow. That thing is, look at how low that is. And they barely got enough room to stand. That's crazy. Any further, it could have come down and crushed them. Luckily, even if it would have come down, I've got the, uh, the roost there. Luckily, that would have stopped it from actually crushing them. Unless something, one of them got trapped in between the top and the, and the roost, which is probably not going to happen. Roosters and, well, chickens are pretty quick, so. Let's see what the temperature is. I know the thermometer said it was 15 outside. And 30 inside here, so. Between the snow and uh, insulating it, and the fact that this thing is wrapped up tight, it's uh, and and we got the heat from the from the ground and from the chickens themselves. It uh, it warms it up pretty good. Now we got the tedious task of getting all the snow off the top. And of course, here comes Gobbles to come out and play. She's the only one brave enough to stand the cold. Don't look white now. <laughs> no, you don't. 
You see Timmy in the background. He just keeps running through. He wants so bad to get in here and play with the chickens. Yep, that's not going to work. Tell you what, that snow is about eight inches deep and uh, way too heavy to push up. So we just keep clearing the snow and hopefully we can get it light enough to push it the rest of the way up. Second attempt, nope, still too heavy. You know, I thought with East Tennessee weather, I wouldn't have to worry about eight inches of snow. The last time I remember getting any snow this, you know, to these amounts was back in like 1995. And then prior to that was 1993, and that was just a crazy blizzard. Actually got like three feet of snow. So you can imagine how many years, I mean, I thought I'd never really have to worry about this, but as you can see, it still happens. Well, there we go. I said the only one brave enough was the turkey, but we got one chicken that decides it wants to come out. Thing is, we go over there, it lands on the other side of the fence, and I go over there and try to get it, and it doesn't want to come back, so. I'm like, ah, whatever, we'll just leave it out there until it gets cold, then it'll come back. Yeah, my third attempt goes. I keep pushing and pushing and that thing just, it's, it, it's acting like it wants to go, but the weight is still pulling it back down again. So I figure I'll just keep getting the snow off. Eventually I'll get enough of it off to, to do it. It's just so high up here, I can't really get to it. Ah, here we go, here's an idea. Hopefully the snow is deep enough. Whenever I slip off of this barrel, I go landing in it. Hopefully it makes it soft landing for me because I don't feel like getting hurt. But got to get this job done somehow. There she goes. I guess she finally decided to come back. It's got a little too cold, I guess. Moment of truth, I think I got almost all the snow off. There we go. Even Timmy agrees, that's a good job. Walking through here, you can see everything looks to be about right. It maybe is sagging in a little bit more, uh, although I think it'll kind of spring back up a little. But as it pushed down, you can see it just popped these these uh, zip ties broke them actually. Um, I think between the zip ties and the plastic that you know just holding it all together as one piece it uh, 
it worked pretty well to hold up the snow. I'm just gonna go in here. I'll probably put more zip ties than what I did. That way, hopefully it'll work. If I, well, if I thought this was gonna be an ongoing issue, then I would go ahead and put a center support in here. Well, there you go. I was skeptical about these greenhouses. The, uh, somebody I knew was putting one up and asked me what I thought about them. And I looked them over and I thought, you know, we get really windy conditions around here. I just don't think that those things are going to hold up. They did theirs and then it held up for at least a couple years. I don't remember. I mean, it, I think it's still up, but I haven't gone by there to look. Um, but because it held up like it did, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try it too. And prior to this storm, we actually had, you see the, the branch right here. Um, I put it in previous video right at the end of my pictures. Um, but you see a branch that came out of one of my trees. I mean, we were getting really, really good amounts of wind through here. And of course, it held up just fine. I think I did have it closed, though, um, so that the wind would go around it more. Um, I think if I had left it open, that could have been an issue. It could have blown up through there and, uh, and taken the whole thing away, probably. Um, but then you can see, too, with this snow load, it held up. I mean, yeah, it kind of crushed in a little bit, but once the snow was off of it, it bounced right back up. And I did see videos where people had the same issue, and, uh, and theirs popped back up, too. Uh, I was glad to see that I had the same thing, although I think I made mine a little bit wider than what they did. Uh, I think most of these things are about... Most of them go about six or eight feet. Um, mine's a full 10 feet wide. Plus it's up on top of fence posts that I drove in the ground. And there's nothing really, I mean, it's three feet high before, you know, before it starts going down. And that, there's nothing really keeping that from spreading out. Um, I actually had it to where right after I get done building it, I was putting the, uh, the hoops up there. The, uh, it was actually pushing it out. So it went from, being stri perfectly straight up and down to bowing out like this a bit. Once I attached the sides, you know, the ends, it kind of helped with that some, um, but it didn't completely fix it. The, uh, I just figured that was going to always be an issue. As long as it didn't push completely out, it wouldn't really matter. But because it was doing all that, I wasn't really sure if pushing down with a snow load, if it was going to cause those to, I mean, because they're just fence posts. They can bend. Uh, I don't know. Luckily, it didn't do anything. And luckily my chickens survived because I don't know what I would have done. I guess I would have had to put them all in my basement or something because there's no way I don't think, I don't think they would be surviving. We, we've been getting temperatures down in the, in right around zero or less. And, uh, and I don't think chickens are really made to, to handle those kind of temperatures. Uh, I've, I've heard stories where they can, but I just don't want to take any chances. And, but I also don't want to have a whole bunch of what is it, 40 chickens or whatever? I don't want to have 40 chickens in my basement. So I'm glad that this thing held up. And I can still close it up every night and they can still be good. Anyway, hopefully this lets you see exactly how strong these can things can be. And uh, if you wanted to build your own and you did want to put a center support in there just to keep this from happening or at least help keep this from happening to you, then, uh, then you go right ahead. I just didn't want to take up that, that center aisle through there uh, I'd just rather keep it open. So we'll just keep it like it is. If I live further north, I probably would have to do something just like that. But all right, that's all I got. So like, comment, subscribe. I definitely like to read the comments. And uh, let me know which one of these pictures here at the end that, uh, that you guys like the best. I've been taking pictures every day. And hopefully I got some good ones. And go back over the previous videos too because... I don't think anybody's commented on the pictures for the previous videos. So if you have to, click on the video, go to the very end, look at the pictures, and let me know which number you like best because I'd like to keep a running track. And hopefully at the end of the year, we can see which ones you guys like the best and maybe have the best one of the year. I don't know. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time, y'all take care.